evening, Zerite. None of us here. Question came up, and keeps coming up actually, uh, quite a lot, is uh, people ask me, what's a good warm-up for uh, sabering? And so I thought I'd give this a little bit of lip service today. Um, one thing to think about, and we'll probably do a whole saber pit thing, um, warming up and good things to do, and probably more things to avoid, I'll talk about that. But uh, <clears throat> it kind of depends on what exactly you're warming up for. Now, are you warming up for a training session? That's gonna take, you know, that, that, that can take a couple of forms. Warming up for competition, warming up for friendly sparring, for performance, all of these things, you know, have uh, different methods to do it because they have different physical requirements. Um, but there's also mentally warming up and uh, warming up technique-wise. Technique um, so we want to be able to distinguish those. Um, warming up physically, um, especially for training, um, is usually overdone. Um, you don't need a whole lot of warm-up um, in the traditional sense. A lot of people, when they warm up, they'll warm up for like 20 minutes. And generally, my rule of thumb is the warm-up has to be under five minutes. Um, after five minutes, you're just kind of pre-fatiguing your body for the uh, coming workout. Now, if that's what you're doing, because you're doing an endurance sport or something like that, then that's a particular method. But for general, uh, general rule of thumb is try to keep the warm-ups under five minutes. Um, when you do them, don't do anything strenuous. Um, don't go ahead and really, really stretch out to your maximum flexibility or anything like that. You can run through a couple of easy little stretches if that makes you feel better. Um, one thing to think about about passive stretching though, especially before exercises, your muscles and tissues are gonna return back to those same lengths, which are kind of governed by your nervous system anyway. So that's not really gonna help and it's never been really shown to uh, prevent any injury. Um, warming up cardio cardiovascularly. Um, again, takes a very, very short time, maybe 30 seconds. Um, you can run in place, do a couple of jumping jacks, just, just going down in to simple things like that. Um, just doing a, a, a couple of squats, so that's, that's also very good. Um, again, physically, whatever it is, training, or competition, or what have you, um, just picking up your weapon and moving through a couple of swings, getting some technique down, and that's where the technique warming up comes in. I'm just, okay, running through my movements, getting familiar with them. And most of the time when I'm doing that is I'm just looking for any kinks, any problems, any, anything, oh, hmm, that's not really working right today. So I might try to alter my strategy a little bit, um, either how I'm working out or how I'm going to fight or, or, or what have you. Um, so, so those are two very, uh, very common things. But doing anything where you're just kind of very lightly mimicking the stuff you're going to be doing um, in your in whatever you're warming up for. So in, as far as sabering goes, the best thing to do to kind of warm up maybe for a competition is to go through a couple of swings, go through some technique, right? Check your power, check all of these things, right? And basically, it's just like getting a car ready for a race or, or, or anything like that. You're just kind of kicking the tires, making sure everything's working all right. Again, you don't want to pre-fatigue yourself, especially during training. Um, a lot of people will do a whole big lot, you know, and then they will try to train strength while their body's already tired, right? And unfortunately, strength is, is very much a learned behavior. And um, if you keep trying to lift weights while you are fatigued and weaker, that's going to probably pattern a little bit stronger. So you can, you, you can lift weights to the point where you're actually not lifting as much weight, but you're technically, your muscles stronger, denser, bigger, or what have you. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, so uh, it's not a very, 
clear answer, I know. Um, like I said, we'll probably do a uh, full little piece on it. Um, my best advice is just, again, do something very easy. Do it mimicking what you're about to do. Uh, a couple of squats, um, running in place, doing just a little thing, going through, going through some stances. I'll, I'll often just go, go, through my, go through my stances, right? Just to get everything kind of ready to move where I want it to move, right? <clears throat> That's all it, really, all it really takes. Don't put too much energy into the warm up um, and all that. Just work on your mechanics, make sure everything's good. Um, some people like to warm up their wrists and, and, and all that stuff. Do whatever you want to do. Try to avoid the passive stretching. So holding it like this, all of that kind of thing. Um, and of course, just follow all your rules of technique that you learn in, in your art. So hopefully that's not too obtuse and I haven't been too pedantic about it, but oh well if I have. Um, anyway, we uh, will revisit the subject again. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully, uh, that will be helpful to you in, in some way, at least how you're going to kind of approach warming up. And uh, we can come up with some basic warm-up exercises in the future um, to give people some ideas. Anyway, uh, that's it for me. So uh, have a good day. Happy savoring.